Hey guys, this is Kerbal Essences and welcome to Kerbal News featuring NASA's DISCOVER mission. DISCOVER stands for Deep Space Climate Observatory and will launch on Sunday evening using a Falcon 9 rocket. This will be the second time SpaceX will attempt to land their booster stage back on a barge. The rocket will launch the satellite at zero degree inclination, which means it will fly along the equator and therefore launch from the east coast. DISCOVER is equipped with a camera and other sensors which detect solar winds, the so-called space climate. Its antenna provides a downlink data rate of roughly 0.40 megabits. For comparison, the record holder LADY, which was launched in 2013, reached 622 megabits from the moon using a modern laser communication system. The destination of the satellite is the so-called Lagrange point or just L1 for short. This point lies 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, directly in front of the Sun, outside of our planet's sphere of influence, which is almost four times the distance to our Moon. This means DISCOVER will no longer orbit the Earth and instead only orbit the Sun. The special thing about it is although the satellite will be placed in a lower orbit than our Earth has around the Sun, the orbital period, meaning the time it takes to orbit the Sun, is the same. This leads to the satellite appearing to hover in space, not moving relative to our planet. Like this, the Sun will always be in its back and it will therefore always look at the bright side of our planet from dusk till dawn, which makes this point so favorable for the mission. But how does that work? An object in a lower orbit should orbit faster because the gravitational pull increases the closer you get to the Sun, like for the inner planets of our solar system for example. While this is true, the L1 is a very special case. It lies in between our planet and the Sun and is still close enough to feel a little of Earth's gravity. The Earth, however, pulls in the opposite direction, decreasing the total gravitational pull on the spot by exactly the amount needed to have the same orbital period. Ok, now back to the Falcon 9 booster stage. Right after separation it will rotate itself. and perform several burns. One to control the downrange to aim for the barge and another one to decrease its re-entry speed to lower the re-entry stresses. The Falcon will then use its side-mounted wings to control its descent. Atmospheric drag will decrease its velocity below the speed of sound and just before touchdown a single engine will ignite a last time to hopefully decrease the speed to zero for a smooth landing. Now please tell me what do you think about reusable rockets? Will SpaceX succeed its mission for a more affordable spaceflight? I will as always link you more detailed information in the info box. That's it for this episode and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.